green juice. And I used the Mean Green recipe from the Joe Cross movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Um, and that recipe, I kind of tweak it a little. And here's how I do it. I use one cucumber, five celery stalks, two apples, six to eight leaves of kale, one whole peeled lemon, and a piece of ginger about this big. That's how I've always done it, but then I started adding a beet to it. Now, what I've been doing is adding two limes to that. Well, one lime if you're using this recipe, but usually I double that recipe, okay? That's for two servings. I fill up a huge jar like this, and then I drink that whole jar. I recommend three 32 ounce glasses of juice a day at the minimum. And if you're doing some kind of demanding exercise that's going to need a lot more calories, like cycling or running, then you're going to want to drink more fruit juices because fruit juices have a lot of calories. Now I've personally done numerous juice fasts over the last three plus years. Uh, usually in 30-day increments, but I have done a few that have lasted approximately 100 days. Um, over the first two-year period, I lost about 95 pounds, okay? I had rest between my fasts where I lifted weights at the gym or cycled or whatever. Um, but while fasting, I never really did that much exercise. I just did bike rides and walking and stuff like that. You don't have to exercise super hard at first, especially if you're obese. If you're really overweight or you have chronic fatigue, you don't need to exercise a lot at first. Just take, you know, mild walks around the block and stuff every day. And then as you lose the weight and as you start to feel better, guess what? You're going to get a lot of energy and you're going to feel really, really good. And then you're going to want to exercise. You're going to feel like it all of a sudden. I just want to take a minute to talk about willpower. It's all about trade-offs and replacements. First of all, you have to commit to the juice fast. And remember, it's only temporary. You're only going to be avoiding eating food for a short time, and then it's going to be over. And guess what? You're going to have huge rewards. Um, you need to have activities ready to do instead of eating when the urge arises. So uh, stay busy. Do housework if you have to. Do anything you can. Uh, cleaning the house even qualifies as exercise. My house got super clean while I was juice fasting. It's going to happen again. As you can see in the background, my house needs a lot of work. I see that as a bonus, okay? I see that as something to look forward to. When things are less than what you want them to be, or if you have a long ways to go, that look at that as a good thing, because that means that you have things to do and something to work for. So just like any other habit, eating can also qualify as a habit because you, usually most of us eat for entertainment more than nutrition. So just like any other habit, like smoking or whatever, you learn to do new things to replace frequent unhealthy snacking that you might usually do, especially if you're a beginner at this or this is your first time. And you might just realize, actually I guarantee you that you'll realize how much everything you do result, uh, revolves around eating. So most of us have a uh, food addiction, so you can break the food addiction, but you have to be aware at all times. You really have to pay attention and be mindful of what you're doing. You have to make correct decisions and exercise willpower as you go. This will be if you stick it out and you get through this juice fast, this will be one of the biggest lessons in self-discipline that you have ever had. And you will come out the other side feeling so empowered. You will go through a detox stage at the beginning of this juice fast. Anywhere between day two and day ten, you know, you'll be going through a detox. It's different for everyone. It depends on how toxic you are, how much caffeine, alcohol, fast food, processed food you eat. Just keep in mind that it's different for everybody, but you might get lightheaded a little bit, you might feel really desperate for food, you might get grumpy. Um, every time I do a, do a juice fast, I usually go through a little bit of an emotional change the first couple days. I get a little bit grumpy. Also, when I get off the juice fast for a couple days, I'm grumpy. So if you have a partner, let them know that they're going to need to be a little bit extra lenient with you for a few days and realize they're going to be a little grumpy. Just kind of let it go. <laughs> Now I've gone over this before, uh, 
It has to do with willpower. Now, if you feel like you're going to break, if you end up feeling like you really just got to eat, and you really don't got to, okay? But if you are going to do it and you're going to cheat, don't go get a cheeseburger or some chocolate milk. Go get some fruit. I mean, you can eat a watermelon and it'll just go right through you. Or you can have bananas. Make sure they're very ripe bananas with spots on them. If you're going for nutrition and better health, you gotta learn to eat those bananas spotty anyways. That's the best way to eat them because uh, the starches are broken down into sugars which are more easily digestible. The easier it is to digest a food, the better that food is for you if you've got to cheat. Don't cheat with bad things. Don't even go back to that bad food. This juice fast want, is something that you can use to break the addictions to those unhealthy foods. So you don't want to go back to those when you cheat on a juice fast. You want to go to something like fruit or vegetables raw and just eat those. My biggest tip is if you're going to cheat, do watermelon. Go get yourself a personal watermelon and eat the whole thing. Don't worry about it. And then move on. But I'm not authorizing you to cheat. <laughs> you shouldn't cheat. Make your new hobby uh, self-discipline. Hey, I wonder if I can avoid doing this. I wonder if I can quit smoking. I wonder if I can drink, quit drinking coffee. I wonder if I can quit fast food. How good can I really get? You can get really good, trust me. And remember, after the fast is over, you can break your fast and you can make yourself a huge feast. While you're fasting, please make sure to do this. Watch documentaries. Go on Netflix and try to find every documentary about food that you can. Food Inc., Earthlings, Forks Over Knives, uh, Fat Sick and Nearly Dead. I Go watch that right now. <laughs> if you haven't watched that, you gotta watch that one first. These are all really good movies. Speciesism, that's a good movie too. Just educate yourself continuously and make sure that you're ready once you're ready to break that fast. You want to be sure that you're ready to break the fast with a whole menu of food that you're going to eat the first week. Make sure you know exactly what you're going to break your fast with. Plan everything carefully. Be aware and be in control of your diet and your well-being and your health. Tomorrow when we start the juice fast, we're going to take back control of our health. We're going to regain our power and our strength, our health, our happiness, everything. So we're going to start tomorrow with a 30-day fast. I will be video documenting this whole thing. And uh, I can't promise a video every day, okay? <laughs> That's really hard to do. Um, and as you know, I'm struggling with a lot of stuff. It's really a lot. If you've read my post on Juicing for the Win, my health has been really bad. I've been having a lot of seizures and I've been on a new medication and it's just really, really hard to cope with all this. I'm not going to go into it because then I'll get all emotional, but um, I love you guys. Let's take control of our health and uh, please don't judge um, who you are by your weight. It's about gaining the best health that you can. You want to lose the weight so that you can be healthy because healthy is beautiful. And with that, I leave you tonight and wish you all the best. And remember, I'm doing it, and you can too.